I never heard of rowing two years ago. <laughs> Freeze your mind up to think about other things, I guess. John Fay and David Graham took a different path to the sport of rowing a couple years ago, despite both being wheelchair bound after suffering spinal cord injuries. I was over in uh, Germany and uh, I fell out of a barracks window. That ended my career. It was one of those things that happened that uh, uh, turned my life around to the better. John served in the Army and built bridges, but admits he needed a bridge to his future. At the time of his injury, he was living a life without purpose. Drinking, smoking, just having a good old time like that, and uh, pretty much headed nowhere. No longer having use of his legs, 21 years old, it was the love of his life whom he met overseas and later made his wife, who has never allowed John to stop pushing forward. We got married in the hospital and uh, been married ever since. I was headed down to the bottom of a bottle. Now I got grandkids and that's great. David was a machinist in the Navy when he got injured on an aircraft carrier, and that wasn't the only thing that went wrong. I ended up getting divorced, so then you kind of go through the whole frustration part of, you know, uh, you know, it was my fault and that kind of thing, and kind of beat yourself up for a couple of years. He knows exactly what got him over the hump. Kind of just wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm going to try to do something a little better and kind of get over being mad at the whole world. I didn't want, you know, my daughters, you know, growing up thinking, you know, this is a, you know, I was a bad person. No one can testify more to the character of David and John than Chuck Mueller, a veteran of the armed forces who introduced adaptive rowing to the Dallas United Crew program in 2015. What inspires me is that they have uh, dedicated quite a bit of their time and energy into a sport that uh, has a lot of uh, challenges to it and they have stuck with it. Wanting no special treatment along the way. Some people see them uh, as having a disability uh, and then being inspired from that is, is awesome, but I pretty much just treat them the exact same way as I would anybody else. And while David and John roll their hearts out, they want to use each and every stroke to symbolize that no matter the obstacle, nothing is too big to overcome. Sometimes it's the, the little things that kind of inspire somebody, able-bodied or not, just kind of keep going and at least try. This is the way I've always lived my life. You just keep going. Don't ever quit. Mm -hmm.